Hello everyone and welcome back to our daily vlog series. Today we're on vlog number 40 and we're looking in particular at the story of the goats and the sheep in Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46 and again focusing on the theme that has been ongoing of spirituality. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will ga be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my father. Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty? or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick, or in a prison, and did not help you. He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. And I think when I read this, as it kind of suggests that as children of God, we should learn to be more like the sheep that are placed on the right of the Father, because actually we are being more Christ-like and we're actually living for God and we are displaying the values that Jesus, our Saviour, taught us. Because as it says in 36, like verses 35, 36, I just read, when we are caring for one another and um if someone's hungry for example we give them something to eat or if they're a stranger and inviting them into our lives actually we are displaying the values that jesus taught us because we are caring for one another and like it says we're all brothers and sisters in christ so actually when we care for one another as brother and brothers and sisters in god's kingdom we're living for god and we're displaying what we have been taught and the christian values and as well, um, spirituality, um, it kind of reflects as individuals, we have been given this sense of purpose um, and I guess also like a sense of peace. So this sense of purpose shows that we are all, we have all been created as individuals. So we all um, are living for Christ and yeah I think it really means that when we are helping one another we're actually saying as Jesus said although we might not feel like we have always been listening to God or perhaps if we feel like we've sinned and perhaps been more like a goat that actually we are all learning every day so yeah, I guess this verse kind of shows that if we were to be more goat-like, perhaps showing selfishness and not realising, it's kind of representing that idea of sin and like it says at the end of the verse, that you are cursed, which isn't a very nice way to picture something and how we would want to, I guess think of but actually it's really showing how our actions can 
reflect on what may happen so if we do a good thing and we act sheep like we're gonna have eternal life and live just in a harmonic way i guess as brothers and sisters whereas if we are more selfish and choose to be like a goat then actually it's not gonna reflect on what we as christians have been taught and to live a sinful life i guess would just not be very christ-like but to live to live for one another and to help one another it literally would be such a a perfect place to live in harmony with one another so i guess yeah just everyone act more like a sheep i guess Sorry if I waffled, but hopefully everyone has a good day and see you soon. Bye!